Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie horror film. Razak, spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a shot of a keyboard warrior chilling in his hostel, probably scrolling through his phone looking for Daniel CC movie channel to deliver his negative comments. Suddenly, the lights go out due to a lightning strike, and he's left alone in the dark. The boy laments, how am I supposed to survive in the wilderness with no Wi-Fi? But before he can even finish his sentence, he spots a mysterious figure in front of him. As it turns out, the figure is a zombie demon, and it's not here for a friendly chat. It attacks the keyboard warrior without mercy, and a tense sequence follows as he tries to outrun the zombie demon. He even tries to hide under the bed in his dorm room, but it's no use. The zombie demon finds him and sends him straight to heaven, where of course, there's still no Wi-Fi, but at least he can take solace in the fact that he's in a better place now, and no one needs Wi-Fi when you have an eternity to ponder life's mysteries. Just kidding, everyone needs Wi-Fi, even in the afterlife. Now, we see a group of students having fun outside their school. They include a girl named Babe, her brother Bro, her cousin Lady Bro, Chicken Shit, Skinny, Lanky, and Photo Boy. As the students enjoy themselves, we see the school teacher, who has a cast on his hormone let-go hand, and is going to school. Now Bro gets a call from his mom, but doesn't pick up, so Babe makes fun of him and his nickname. After this, Babe meets Photo Boy, who has a crush on her. They flirt for a bit, and then we see a fat lady named Miss Fatty, delivering some food to the school. She chats with the guard, and tells him that some boys have been getting possessed by demons in the nearby area. These possessions turn the boys pale, similar to the zombie demon we saw at the beginning of the film. Now we're back to the students, who are chilling and having a nice meal. Then, we move to Photo Boy, who is exploring the forest for photos. He comes across a small bottle and picks it up, but cuts himself in a spooky sequence. He drops the bottle, and then it breaks open to reveal a smelly liquid preserving what looks like some flesh. Photo Boy gets suspicious, but then he hears his friends calling out to him, so he leaves the scene. However, we then see a haunted tree, which has demonic symbols on it, proving Miss Fatty's greasy rumors. Now we're back to Miss Fatty and the guard, after which Teacher comes to the scene. Teacher is supposed to be on leave, but he meets the headmaster, who asks him to work because of an emergency situation. There are over 20 students staying at the school, so Teacher agrees to look after them, because he doesn't have much to do anyway. Teacher enters his room, and he checks out his wallet to reveal a photo of his family. It's an emotional scene, but then, we shift to the students, who are being driven back to school by Lady Bro. However, it's too late for them as they notice the gates have been closed. Luckily, the boys make their way inside through the back gate, and Bro bids farewell to Babe and Lady Bro. Photo Boy also gives his hormone wishes to Babe, and then the girls leave. Bro notices this, and jokes around with Photo Boy. After which, the boys head back inside the school. However, Photo Boy can hear his name being said from an empty window. He approaches the window, but gets creeped out by the vibe, so he runs away. The boys evade the authorities, and head back to their dorm. But they find Teacher waiting there for them. He questions the boys about where they'd been, and they try to give the excuse that they were praying. However, Teacher calls them out for lying, and says that they will have to be punished. The boys are made to clean the pool area and the washrooms, and are mocked by a turd bully, who has left some smelly turds for them. The war on turds is about to begin, but then, the light goes off after a lightning strike. The boys fool around with each other in the middle of the turd wars, but Photo Boy is seemingly getting possessed. He hears the creepy sounds calling out his name, and gets flashbacks to the time he picked up the curse bottle. Photo Boy begins to puke blood, and things don't look good for him, so the boys come to his rescue. They take Photo Boy to the dorm, and notice that he has a high fever. It only gets worse when Photo Boy starts shaking violently, as if he's turning into a demon. Teacher asks the guard if he has checked on the power outage, but he's only interested in listening to music. After they discuss calling a technician, Teacher finds Bro and scolds him for wandering around the halls. Bro tells him that Photo Boy is sick, so they go to check up on him. Now, Photo Boy becomes a zombie demon, and he attacks his friends without mercy. He is brutal and knocks out Lanky, after which he spits blood on chicken shit. Things aren't looking good, but then, Teacher shows up with Bro. They scare Demon Photo Boy away from the scene, and then the human boys are told to hide in a hideout spot, because Lanky is still unconscious. Now, Photo Boy attacks the turd bully in the washroom. After a brutal assault, Photo Boy sends the turd bully to hell, possibly to bully Satan. 
But then, Photo Boy also performs a cursed ritual to bring him back from hell as a demon bully. The symbols used in the ritual are the exact same as the ones we had seen earlier on the cursed tree. The guard continues to listen to music, but is disturbed by the demons running around the school. There is no network in the school as well, so no contact can be made with the outside world. Now, teacher walks into a ward room and finds the demons feasting on some innocent students. The students also turn into demons, and then teacher is attacked by Photo Boy. A brief chase follows, but teacher gives Photo Boy the slip. However, he's attacked by another demon and has to use his cast for defensive measures. Then, he uses his flashlight, and it seems to scare the demon away. Meanwhile, the guard also finds a demon, but thinks he's a normal boy. So he goes to confront him, only to receive a jump scare. The scene shifts to Bro, who tries his best to get some network. Then, we see a student begging Skinny and Chicken Shit to let him into their hideout spot. However, Chicken Shit doesn't open the door, so he has to evade the incoming demons. After that, we see Babe and Lady Bro talking about flowers. Babe is visibly upset because she has a bad feeling, and then she gets a call from Bro, who has finally found some network. He mentions what happened with Photo Boy, and begs her to come get him, but she cannot hear him clearly. It only gets worse when Demon Photo Boy shows up, and attacks Bro in a tense muscle stroll. Bro gets bitten in the process, and also breaks his phone. But he manages to stab Photo Boy, which seemingly kills him, so Bro runs away. However, Demon Photo Boy comes back to life pretty soon. Now Babe convinces Lady Bro to drive them back to the school, because she cares for Bro and Photo Boy. Then we see Teacher, who comes across an army of demons, carrying out a demonic ritual in front of a tree. He pisses his pants, but manages to stay safe. Later, Bro meets the other boys and reveals his bite mark. Lanky finally wakes up from his injury, and asks Bro to call for help. But he reveals his phone is broken. Teacher is found by the guard, who reveals that he was able to fight the demon boy with his flashlight. He remembers what Miss Fatty told him about the possession curse, and then Teacher figures that they should meet the other boys, who worry that the curse can spread to Bro through the bite mark. Meanwhile, Photo Boy paints more symbols on the wall, and then we see Babe and Lady Bro come to school. However, the gate is locked, so they go to the back gate. Bro and Skinny realize they need to open the gate for the girls, so they go to the guard's cabin to look for the keys. Unfortunately, Bro starts to puke because of the curse, and a demon pops up to flex its demonic figure. So Skinny takes him inside the cabin. Bro knows he won't make it, so he tells Skinny to make a run for it, while he distracts the demon outside. A chase scene follows, but the demon doesn't attack Bro, because he's already turning into one of them. At the same time, Babe and Lady Bro enter the school from the back gate. Teacher asks the guard how long they have to deal with the power outage, and the guard reveals that they can use the generator to power up the school, although it's a bit damaged. Since the demons are weak against light, the generator seems to be a good option. Babe and Lady Bro find a bloody football, but get attacked by a demon. A tense struggle follows, and Lady Bro uses her bag to distract the demon, but it's of no use. Luckily, Teacher and the guard show up and flash their lights at the demon. The demon is blinded by the lights and runs away with Lady Bro's bag, but it also calls out to the other demons. Now, Teacher and the group figure out a plan of action. Unfortunately, Bro begins to transform right as he approaches Lady Bro's van. The demons also seem to have some kind of hive mind mentality, as Demon Bro can sense what Photo Boy is seeing. The girls and the adults reach the boys, after which, Skinny also enters the hideout spot. He tells everyone that Bro has turned into a demon, and the guard reveals that the plan to retrieve the gate keys was useless, because he's had them with him the whole time. Later, Skinny fights chicken shit over his selfish motives, but the focus is to go home safely. Unfortunately, the keys to Lady Bro's van are in the bag that the Blinding Lights demon had momentarily taken. The team figures that the only way to fight the demons is with light, so they decide to go to the generator. Lady Bro says she can fix the generator because she is good with tools. So teacher suggests splitting up to gain maximum ground and also avoid the demons. This way, Skinny and Chicken Shit can retrieve the toolbox from the repair room, while the others can work on the generator and the van keys. Meanwhile, Bro finds Photo Boy, but sees that he's human. However, this is just a trick by him, and he fools Bro into becoming a demon after a cursed ritual. Elsewhere, Lady Bro and the guard find the generator shed and manage to sneak inside. The generator seems fixable, but they need to wait for Skinny to get the toolbox. The guard tells Lady Bro he'll wait for Skinny and asks her not to leave the shed. Skinny and Chicken Shit find the toolbox, and Skinny fills it up. 
However, Chicken Shit sees some demons and runs away like a scared chicken. Skinny fills the toolbox, but is found by the demons, so he is chased by them. Chicken Shit sees this, and then he goes to Lanky to tell him they need to escape. In a chicken voice, he lies about Skinny getting killed and also tells Lanky that they should leave the others behind. Now Teacher and Babe find Demon Bro and are attacked by him. Teacher puts up a fight, but it's of no use as Demon Bro is too strong. Babe gets attacked, but she uses her sister powers to bring her brother back to his senses temporarily. The siblings have a brief reunion, but Photo Boy makes Bro give in to the dark side again. Luckily, he's able to fight his demon urges and jumps off the building to meet Satan. Babe is severely affected by this sight, but there's no time to waste. So she and Teacher run from the other demons, who have caught on to their location. Meanwhile, Chicken Shit and Lanky try to make their way out of the school through the front gate. Lanky is tricked into running toward the gate first, but he gets attacked by demons. Chicken Shit uses this deception to make his own escape, but he runs too slowly like a chicken and gets mauled by the demons as well. Teacher and Babe manage to hide for a bit so that they can evade the demon army. Now, Skinny runs his skinny legs fast away from the demons and gets helped by the guard as he enters the generator shed. Lady Bro manages to kick the demons away like adult toys and lock the shed. But the guard sacrifices his guarding life while fighting the demons. On the other hand, Teacher and Babe fight more zombies, but Teacher gets bitten in his cast during the process. Demons charge at the door, but they suddenly start shaking. As Lady Bro works on the generator, Photo Boy assumes a human voice and calls out to Teacher to follow him. Teacher challenges Photo Boy, but is taunted over the fact that he has no family. A flashback shows Teacher with his wife and kids, who had gone out for a family trip. However, they met with an accident, and Teacher was the only one who survived. This explains the cast on Teacher's arm. Now, Demon Photo Boy tricks Teacher with an illusion of his wife and uses it as a way to get inside his head and curse him. Teacher fights the pain and becomes determined to counter the demons. So he takes Babe's sexy body away and tells her to escape the building because he's also going to turn into a demon. Tensions run high as Skinny is unable to start the generator using his skinny muscles. So Teacher acts fast and spreads gas all over the room. He becomes religious and decides to make the ultimate sacrifice. But he passes out before he can light the fire. The demons break in and Photo Boy tells Teacher to follow him into the darkness. However, Lady Bro manages to start the generator, and Teacher wakes up to light the gas, sending all the demons to meet Jesus for purification. With the demons defeated, Babe, Lady Bro, and Skinny survive the ordeal, but we learn that Demon Photo Boy has resurrected once again. The authorities find his demon seal on the buildings, although it's being reported that there was just a fire in the school. The movie ends with Demon Photo Boy waking up from his coma in the hospital, hinting at an ominous return. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.